My name is Max Stappen, Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly, Valtteri Bottas, Jurasu, Oscar Piastri, I'm Esteban Ocon, Sergio Perez, I'm Nick De Vries, Logan Sargent, Carlos Sainz, Joe Guan Yu, I'm Kevin Magnussen, I'm Landon Norris, Alexander Albon, Fernando Alonso, Nico Hulkenberg, my name is Yuki Tsunoda, Van Straw, hi, I'm Lewis Hamilton, and I race for the. Uh, shoot, was it again? How's I still after 10 years? Oh, what's our official name this year? Oh, the pain. <sighs> I'm Lewis Hamilton and I race for Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula 1 team. Describe Nico the person in just one sentence. Mm, Nico is a, a petrol head, passionate about what he does, funny, intelligent, kind person that also doesn't t take himself too seriously. <laughs> normal. I'll say normal. Very normal guy, I think. Hard working, playful on, on the outside and serious on the inside. Tenacious, calm, thrill seeker, sleepy, the most competitive person you'll meet. Maybe sometimes I'm a bit misunderstood, but I'm always honest and straightforward. And for me, I think that's a very important quality to have. Not always people appreciate it or like it, but that's how I am on and off track. Very relaxed, very focused on turning his dream into a, a goal that lasts a long time. Joe Wang is a very fashionable, fun guy, so you will enjoy it. <laughs> how long have you been a racing driver and how did you start? I started in a B&Q car park when I was eight and never looked back. Since I was six, that's when I did my first go-kart race. And yeah, I've been racing since, so quite a while now. I've been a racing driver all my life. I started at three in go-karts. Karting is the key, you know, if you want to get to the top one day. It's where everything starts. Uh, it's, it, a lot of our racecraft comes from, from karting days. I started driving around cones in a, a parking lot back in Canada when I was five years old and uh, started racing uh, go-karts when I was eight. I saw a younger kid driving already when I was four, he was three. Uh, so I wanted to start driving myself uh, as well. So I called my dad who was away in F1 and initially he said no, he wanted me to wait a little bit, but I kept pushing for it and eventually I got a go-kart. And funny thing is that um, kid who was driving is now my best friend. The earlier you can start, the better, especially with more and more people coming into racing. If you want to make a difference and you want to be ahead of anyone that you can be, all of that starts at a very early age. I guess I've been a racing driver since I started driving go-karts, I guess, and I was two years old, two, three years old when I started, so basically all my life. I started racing when I was three years old, uh, so that's now 22 years. I've been racing since I was six years old. Uh, I pretty much just started because I got a kart for Christmas, and uh, it, just, it just escalated from there. Probably uh, escalated a bit more than we expected. I got into racing I will say thanks to my brothers and my family because they used to race themselves. And after some time I was like, okay, I'm tired of just watching. I, I, gotta, I gotta try and I, I wanna feel what it's like to be uh, driving fast. And um, yeah, I tested the first time at uh, six years old. I think the best thing about karting was the enjoyment that it brought. It just becomes um, intuitive. There's no, there's no thought process behind driving. You say it's an extension of your arm. You really learn the experience to be a racing driver, to racing against all the kids around your age. So it's super fun and quite challenging as well. But you learn um, some lifelong lessons in karting, usually what not to do, that you keep taking forward. If you weren't a Formula One driver, what would you want to do instead? Special undercover agent, something like that. I used to say if I wasn't a Formula One driver, I'd have liked to have been a footballer. Chef. If I was doing chef from young young time, maybe I'm having a Michelin star. <laughs> I love uh, it. Youngest Michelin star in the world. When I was a kid, I used to play football, and it was either football or racing because both of the dates clashed, and my dad was like, right, you need to make a decision now. And that was me at the age of seven. Fortunately, I think I chose the right path. I would be uh, probably, I mean, I would try to be a golfer. It's not going very well at the minute. I mean, the dream role would have been to be in the band. Because I love music, I love creating. As a kid, I had a bit of interest for architecture. I see myself as an architect. I like designing things. If I wasn't a Formula One driver, I would like to be an architect. Designer, whether it's in fashion, whether it's in um, architecture, houses, interior design, just, just create, I just like to create. Something related to sports, um, like a manager. You let the, the athlete uh, do the work, you take the money. <laughs> I would be 
ice hockey player professionally, probably in NHL. I love cycling, so probably uh, riding my bike in the Tour of France. I would have tried probably racing on two wheels. If that wouldn't have worked out, I think anyway, something in racing related, probably just more management role or setting, setting up a team. I would probably want to be a fighter pilot. That would, uh, I would, that would be cool. I don't know, maybe fly a plane, something like that. I don't know, something with adrenaline. What makes an F1 driver? I'd say someone who has a great feeling on their bum. Never giving up on, on the dream. It's that, that no limits kind of mindset. Dedication, persistence. A lot of hard work, a lot of commitment to, to the sport. Sacrifice. The right attitude, the, the right mindset. Having the sheer will to put everything aside and focus on that one thing. And that you need to have the trust, the believe in yourself, that's uh, because F1 is normally a dream. So believing in your dream, these things can be coming true. I think, I don't know, a guy that can drive quick, simple as it gets. Talent to drive cars fast, for sure, but also has to have a killing instinct of uh, being very competitive. This is a very competitive environment inside Formula One. Uh, yeah, there are no friends here. Away from the track, what things are you passionate about? I'm passionate about uh, quite a few things, obviously sport uh, in general. Golf, play golf. I love being out on the golf course. It's probably in my best interest to take up golf if I've got any chance of uh, a good relationship with Zach and Lando. So uh, I think that's in the near future too. Paddle, squash, tennis, things with a racket I, I really enjoy. I love being on a mountain bike. Uh, mountain biking is also one thing that I, I love to do. I love uh, cycling, I love football as well, uh, playing but also watching, spending time with, with my friends, my family that I miss when I'm traveling, so very normal things. I like movies, I'm a big fan of comics, you know, all the Marvel movies. I like gaming, I'm kind of a weird person like that. That's not weird, there's a lot of gamers nowadays. No, I don't want to call out the whole esports community. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty passionate about sim racing myself. I have my own team as well in sim racing. Yeah, I spend a lot of hours on that. And besides that, I like to just spend quality time at home, you know, with the family. I love sports, so I play a lot of paddle, tennis, football, try a bit basketball because I was horrific the last time I played basketball and I hate being bad in a sport, so. I'm getting more into classic cars. Mm -hmm. Just bought myself a Fiat Jolly, which is the coolest car now. What do you intend to do with it? Drive it. Oh, I mean, does it need, you know, doing up or? No, 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 no. Race it? I'm too impatient to wait for that. I just want to drive it. <laughs> music is probably my biggest passion. I have a whole music bag, <laughs> just with DJ set, keyboard, guitar, recording equipment. <laughs> so that's one whole suitcase that travels well with me. I don't think I'll be going into DJing anytime soon, but um, yeah, I'll find a passion soon enough. What is a fact that people might not know about you? <laughs> I'm scared of animals. I was obsessed with dinosaurs as a kid. Still am, actually. What animals are you scared of? All? Well, all... Not all, but I'm just not a great fan. You don't know what they're thinking. And they're like very unpredictable. So, I, just, I don't know, I just feel uncomfortable around animals. I literally live next to farms. I'd rather walk away. I love that. <laughs> Do you have a favourite? A favourite? Everyone mm. has a favourite dinosaur. Yeah, I mean, Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> I mean, obviously. I quite like a Triceratops myself. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Did I hate oysters? I didn't know that. Yeah, see? Come on, oysters. Blah. I don't know if I should say that, but I can belly dance. You can belly dance? <laughs> yeah, Come I'm not going to no, no, I'm not going to demonstrate, but I can you belly can't. dance. <laughs> oh. Where did you learn that? I don't know, it's just how I'm made, I guess. <laughs>